think I stumbled upon this news a few days ago. There's a person called Ram Nagesh Srinivas, 23-year-old software engineer, a graduate from IIT Hyderabad. That person was jailed today, I think a few days ago. This guy was a topper in his class, class 10th. He got approximately 2,000 rank in the IIT JEE examination. He was on his way to go to the US for his master's degree. But today he is jailed. What did he do? Out of nowhere, he ended up sending rape threats to Virat Kohli's nine-month-old daughter. Why would anyone do that? What could be the reason? Went to IIT Hyderabad, topping his classes, currently employed also, on his way to US University for his master's degree. A nine-month-old daughter sending these threats across social media platforms. Frustration of what kind? What is hard life? Is he alone? No. Today, this country has so many trolls. More critiques than those who create. These trolls find immense pleasure in bringing other hardworking people down. Why? Because they could not do it themselves, perhaps frustrated, stuck in whatever they're doing. Look at Reddit, for example. Anonymity compelled with, coupled with frustration, envy, anxiety, jealousy, giving you wings. That's a sad life. Today I come across so many viral videos and comments on YouTube with that Ankur Variku is a scam, Sharan Hegde is a scam, XYZ Influencer is a scam. But what is a scam? Such a liberal definition for scam? Are you insulting the word scam? Scam is something that is carried out with an intent to defraud someone. There has to be an intent to defraud someone. Scam involves fraudulent activities. 2G spectrum allocation was a scam. That scam involved what? Underpricing of some national resources and also irregular allocation of those spectrum licenses. IAS officers, politicians masterminded that scam. There was a scam in 2010 in the name of Commonwealth Games where there was allegation of massive financial irregularities which included over-invoicing, fake invoices were being created, poor quality work, siphoning of funds, Colgate scam in 2012. There was non-transparent allocation of national resources. CAG estimated, who we will study in time to come, he estimated loss of around 2 lakh crores because of that scam, 2 lakh crores. Vijay Malaya's loan default case, Punjab National Bank fraud case, Panir of Modi defrauded Punjab National Bank of 2 billion US dollars. These are examples of scam. Not Ankur Variku or Sharan Hegde or any other popular influencer selling a course. They work hard, they create courses and they sell it. What's wrong with that? I call it a scam. You can also work hard, sell your course if that is what you want to do. But yes, you have to work hard. The easiest thing in life is to criticize. The easiest thing in life is to call out everything as a scam. Very difficult to create, but very, very easy to criticize. Sadly, majority of Indians today are falling into the second category. And the only way they are able to vent out their frustration is via calling these people as scam scamsters. Be it Angur Variku or Tan Mehbhat or Sharan Bhigde. They work hard. They create courses of whatever they do. And they make money out of those things. What's wrong with that? They are not blackmailing you to buy their products. And when they make money, economy thrives. How? They will perhaps hire editors. They will hire media managers. They will create jobs. When they make money, they also pay taxes. 18% GST, flat. Thereafter, income taxes, XYZ taxes. The people who they have hired, they also pay taxes. In a scenario when there are no jobs, they are at least creating some jobs. Unlike the person sitting on YouTube or LinkedIn commenting on these people. What is the contribution of that person? Is that person creating jobs? No. Is that person changing someone's life? No. Is that person contributing to make your parents' life better? No. Sadly, such people who are... These are the people who are share, sharing hate. And they become very prominent. They latch, latch onto the virality of people who work hard. And it is when people such as these and that IIT graduate, when they gain traction in society, angry, envious, lazy people, 
this can lead to trolls driven economy where everyone is angry unproductive lazy together it's a society when everyone criticizes but no one creates or solve brings in solutions because to create something you need balls you need to solve things john maynard keynes was perhaps one of those creators he will of course be criticized for his works but no one will term his scam artists perhaps they were not not trolls back then john maynard keynes was a british economist he was considered to be one of the most influential figures in modern econ- economics his ideas gave birth to what is known as keynesian economics let's talk briefly about keynesian economics 